Hello out there and welcome to the Revenge of Veterans and Community. Today we have a special guest because he is special. He is at Suffolk Downs, comes from Suffolk Downs. He's been there 22 years and his name is Louis Cialoni. Louis, welcome to the Revere TV Community Show because it's a pleasure to have you here. You worked at Suffolk Downs for 22 years. You know a lot about it. But before we get into the things you want to talk about, I'd like to know a little about you. How long you've been there? How you got the head of the union? Uh, first off, Morris, I want to thank you for having me today. It's uh, a pleasure because we want the casinos just as much <laughs> as you do. Morris, it's a pleasure to, to, uh, to be here, and I want to thank you for having me so that uh, this, so I can explain the positions that are taken on this casino from the from the viewpoint of the workers at Suffolk Downs and, and as a resident, a lifelong resident of the city of Revere. Uh, I've worked at Suffolk Downs as tw for 22 years as a mutual clerk. Uh, those are the people who sell tickets to the uh, races. Uh, I started on January 1st, 1992, when Suffolk Downs reopened after it was closed for two years. Uh, it, it's, it's been a rewarding job. Uh, I want to thank the people at Suffolk Downs who hired me, and uh, uh, it's been a very rewarding job. In 2002, I ran for the presidency of the union. And uh, I was elected by my fellow workers. There is probably nothing more rewarding than to have your peers, people you work with, say, we want you to speak for us. And I've taken that job very seriously, and I've been passionate about it. And I knew early on in, uh, in that position that in order to save racing at Suffolk Downs, in order to advance the jobs of the people I represent, that it, would have, it's go, it was going to take expanded gaming, just as it was done in so many other states in the United States. Whether it was in the form of slot machines or in the form of a casino, that was my uh, advocacy, to push that issue. Knowing full well that in this state, the state of Massachusetts, a, a, a very deep blue state, a very democratic state, a very big pro-labor state, that to make this issue a labor issue, to make it a union issue, was of paramount importance. And that's what I set out to do, and, I, and, I, and, and with the help of my members, and with the help of the officers around me, wonderful officers around me, who have stuck with me since the beginning of my administration in 2002, we were able to accomplish that, and this became a union issue. It was Local 123 that put that before uh, the AFL-CIO convention. It was our resolution to say that a cas it should be cas not only casinos in Massachusetts, but there should be one at Suffolk Downs in an effort to save horse racing. And that became a union issue. And, and when people uh, drive around this city and see the men and women holding those signs that say, Yes for Revere. Oh, yes for Revere. Right, Revere Th says yes. Well, actually, the signs are going to say, vote yes for Revere. Yeah. It's a Mohegan Sun casino that those, a lot of those people, the people I represent at Suffolk Downs, and those are people who are trying to influence you to save their jobs. Uh, and there'll be others who have joined us from the surrounding communities, as well as in Revere, who work in the trades. And those jobs can be created by a yes vote for a casino and the final uh, 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 approval of the application by the Gaming Commission. And I'd like to speak towards those jobs. But uh, you asked me about, uh, uh, before we went on the air, about some of the positions I hold in the community. I'm proud to say that I work with, Rob, with Bob Rapucci at CAPIC. I'm a member of the... Uh, 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 board of Directors for CAPIC. Could you tell the people what CAPIC does? Because <laughs> a lot of them might not know out there. Cap really. CAPIC, uh, CAPIC supplies uh, oil and gas relief. It helps the very poor amongst us, people who are struggling. Uh, helps them pay those bills. It helps them in housing, job training. Uh, they r we run a... <laughs> we run a um, uh, some preschool work oh. um, in Chelsea and Revere and Winthrop. They've, uh, I just was appointed maybe about six or seven months ago. They, they created a union position there. 
uh, we, uh, it's a position that I uh, am proud to hold. Um, and uh, that's one of the positions I hold in the city of Revere, uh, uh, for the city of Revere. Uh, but it's for Revere, Winthrop, and Chelsea. Uh, I'm also a member of the planning board. I'm the secretary of the planning board. Um, it, it, it's a, uh, as a matter of fact, it was just yesterday that uh, I was reelected as secretary of the planning board. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Pleasure to have <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. No pleasure to have you. Uh, I'm also on the Committee on Political Education for the Greater Boston Labor Council. And what we do there is we interview people from uh, the surrounding communities as well as Revere for the state rep seats, for the state senate seats, for council seats, for mayors, uh, as um, public officials or candidates try to obtain labor endorsements leading up to their elections. So that's some of the things uh, I have a hand in. And uh, it, I do it in a way that it serves my community, and it's, and it's the best way that I can serve my members and uh, with, the, with the help and support of my members, the help and support of employees at Suffolk Downs, with the help and support of the offices, the wonderful offices I have around me, that we believe that we can go forward and get a positive vote for a casino at Suffolk Downs. And I want to touch on or speak to how this affects people in Revere. Not just my, the members I represent, but as a resident of the city of Revere, how important these jobs are to the people who are watching us right. today. I would like to ask you, Mrs. Giolone, I'm going to be a devil's advocate because that's what you're going to hear mm -hmm. out there. If Revere does not get the job and it goes to Everett, you're still going to have a lot of traffic and there's still a lot of, uh, well, let me use the word, I don't want to use the word crime. Yeah, uh, crime. Well, well. At Casino, there's a reason why there's a mitigation package and a mitigation agreement with each of the communities that uh, will host or surround or a surrounding community to a casino. Uh, and I'm glad you mentioned Everett. The host community agreement that Mayor Dean Rizzo and, uh, and his staff negotiated with Mohegan Sun is a tremendous agreement for the citizens of the city of Revere. I'm a homeowner in Revere. I'm a lifelong resident of Revere. My father was a lifelong resident of Revere. His father was a lifelong resident of Revere. So, That's a long time. So I know the Revere community, and I know how important uh, these type of jobs are. Uh, we've always been an entertainment community, whether it was Revere Beach, Wonderland Dog Track, or the current Suffolk Downs location. But if this if we vote no, if for some reason there's a no vote in Revere on February 25th, that casino will inevitably go to Everett. Right. We will have whatever situation. Some people have a very extreme thought of what will transpire if there's a casino on our doorstep, whether it's at Suffolk Downs or Everett. I believe it's much less extreme. But let's say it's even someplace in the middle. Whatever that is, if this casino goes to Everett, we're going to have that and have no mitigation money. We won't, we won't receive the revenue, which is $25 million minimum to the city of Revere. We will not have the job preference, which is 20% to, to, to the people of the city of Revere. We will not save horse racing, which, is an ex which has 1,400 existing jobs at the racetrack, many of which are jobs, are, are employment people employed right now from the city of Revere. We will not get the infrastructure improvements. So a no vote is not a no vote for a casino. It's a no vote for the mitigation package, because we'll have either a casino a mile and a half away in Everett or at the Suffolk Downs, at, on the Suffolk Downs, Mohegan Sun at the Suffolk Downs property right on our doorstep. So 
as a host community, and you can see today, we discussed this before this, sh before this show, how Boston now wants to say they're a host community. Right. Because that gives the advantage. The host community holds all the cards, excuse the pun, holds all the cards on this casino. And to give up that right, and the only way we can give up that right now is to vote no, that would be a major mistake. A year's vote gives us job preference at the city of Revere, a minimum of $25 million a year, $33 million in upfront revenue, infrastructure improvements, a million dollars for the school department, $2 million for the fire department, $2 million for the police department, a Harry De La Russo Stadium improvements, and a new youth center. That's what's in the cards for the people of the city of Revere. But I know the reason why you asked me here was about jobs. And I want to dispel any, any thoughts that, uh, I want to make it clear that even though these jobs are going to be union jobs, the union will not have preference in hiring. The hiring for those jobs will be exclusively done by Mohegan Sun. So those, those of you out there who are watching us today, today or tonight, whenever this uh, is uh, broadcast, that you will apply, if you so desire to work at this casino, you will apply, send in your resume, do your interviews with, 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 ex with executives of Mohegan Sun, and those folks will hire you. It won't be till after you're hired that you will have the opportunity to join the union because the union will not have preference in hiring. Revere residents will have re preference in hiring, and only after you're hired. It's a very level playing field, except that, it, except th that the advantage goes to Revere residents, that you will, there's going to be 800 Revere residents, and whether or not you belong to a union prior to your hiring is of no consequence. These are for the permanent jobs now I'm speaking to. There is n th th that preference is for Revere residents, and then after that, there will be, uh, you will decide whether or not, as a group, to join a union and which union to join. That's what a neutrality clause is about. And there are a lot, we're sharing this environment with many other very good unions. The United Auto Workers with uh, Julie, Kirsh Ju Julie Krishna, uh, Teamsters Local 25 with Sean O'Brien, IBW Local 103 with my good friend Mike Monahan, uh, uh, Labor's Local 22 with Lou Mandarini, who many people here may, uh, may know. So there's going to be a union environment, but your hiring does not, you don't need a union card to be hired. It'll be after you're hired. And let me tell you the advantage to being a union member when you're, at, when you're employed anywhere. I looked this up this morning so that I would have an accurate, I would have an accurate uh, uh, percentage. That apples to apples, a union job as opposed to a non-union job, in the same work, the same type of job, similar work, same type of job, a union employee receives 28% on the average, 28% higher wages and benefits than someone doing comparable work non-union. I agree with you on that because my father, when he came to this country, was working for peanuts literally until he joined the union and his pay was doubled. Not 28%, 100%. And, and that's why these jobs at Mohegan Sun, which is going to be union wall to wall, that's why those jobs are going to be good jobs. Now, I resent some of our opponents talking about these jobs being minimum wage jobs, jobs people are not going to want. That's not true. And, and in the horse racing profession, we talk about, we talk about uh, past performance. Suffolk Downs, over the years, has always given their employees a living wage. Uh, I guess this would be a time when I could praise Chip Tuttle. He sat across from me on three or four 
uh, negotiating contract negotiations. And although he's a tough negotiator, he's always been fair. And Suffolk Downs has always been a union environment. Mutual clerks, I'm a mutual clerk. And the mutual clerks make $17 or $18 an hour. The laborers close to 20 depending on their step scale. We have health care benefits, dental, 401k contribution, life insurance, sick days. We have uh, double time in some areas for uh, holidays and in other areas time and a half. It's a, it's a unionized environment, so the jobs already are good at Suffolk Downs. And naturally, with a casino, they will be only better. And to be represented by a union, you'll have job security, people, will, people from Revere, they get hired, they join a union, they, they become part of the union, they decide they want to be in a union, they'll have job security, they'll have uh, great benefits, and, and Chip, and I've heard him say this on numerous occasions, that these jobs are going to be between forty and $50,000 a year. Well, you don't have to be a math major to realize that th what forty to $50,000 a year means is between $20 and $25 an hour. And those, in my, and those, by almost anybody's estimation, are good jobs. So when our opponents talk about and try to downgrade the type of work that will be done at the casino at Mohegan Sun, right. I personally resent that because I know that the people we'll be negotiating with, and I've sat and talked to the people at Mohegan Sun, are people that are going to be fair to the workers. Uh, they're going to be they're going to be uh, uh, union friendly. They're 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 going to respect not only the workers but the community. Uh, this is something that's going to be very positive for the people of the city of Revere. And I'm convinced of that because I've sat and talked to them eyeball to eyeball, and these are the same people I've dealt with for the past over a decade now. And, 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 and Chip has always kept his word to me. We have sat across the table on numerous occasions, and before him, Bob O'Malley. Suffolk Downs has always been a union environment. Suff Suffolk Downs has always been uh, fair to its employees, and, and that's going to carry over into Mohegan Sun. And, and, and I'm really excited about the future and how this is going to work. Willie, I've got to tell you, you put it so well, but I'd like to ask you two questions, if I may. If Certainly. I may. On all these jobs that are going to be at Suffolk Downs, a lot of the people that, as you see, where are our veterans and communities, Joe? So I was going to ask you, number one, about the veterans, um, you, if you could speak about that. Number two, Suffolk Downs is one of the best places to work at because when I spoke to people there, the turnover is almost minimal. But you can tell me better about that than I can since you've been there. So could you tell us about the veterans? And Well, I know you, you talked about the veterans, and, and I would be presumptuous to speak for veterans, since I, I, I'm personally not a veteran. But you're my a father, community veteran. You are. You <laughs> are a community veteran. My father is a veteran. But I know that Suffolk Downs and Mohegan Sun are committed to veterans being hired at that facility. And the veterans could have no greater friend for hiring at that location than our good mayor, Dan Rizzo, right. who is a veteran himself and has made sure that that's of, of utmost importance during this whole project. So th I think the people there who are veterans um, can rest assured that, that they will have a leg up. Being a Revere, Revere resident will give you a leg up, and being a veteran will give you a leg up. Um, as you can tell, I'm passionate about what I do. I hope I'm so. excited about the future uh, and, uh, and, and how this will develop. Um, as we move forward in this campaign, it's very important that no one take this election for granted. And no one, uh, no one there, no one out there, and, and you shouldn't take my word for everything, because everything can be verified. I have a contract that can be verified. You can talk to people at Suffolk Downs about their, about their salaries. There are, there are ways of confirming all of this. But by the same token, people should do the same when our opposition starts casting aspersions about all whole, a whole host of things. Because Revere has only going to have one chance at this. So right. there'll be a second chance. February 25th will be the last chance. And, and 
We shouldn't take for granted that this election is going to be won. We should take for granted that uh, 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 that if you whether you vote or not, the outcome is determined because it's not. We not we need to not only vote. We have to convince our friends and our neighbors and our family to vote yes on this casino because it means a lot to all of us. I'm a homeowner in the city of Revere. The mayor has committed uh, 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 the mitigation package, part of that, part of the, part of the money that will come in from the casino towards tax relief, towards water rate relief. The mayor has been our staunchest supporter. The city council has been sensational. 100%. Uh, they've, been, they've been there. We've, we've conversed about it. they have well educated on the subject. They know exactly what this is about. And, and 11 city councilors and every single one of them in favor of this says something. You have a mayor that's in favor, an outgoing state representative, Kathy Ann Reinstein, who's been tremendous on this. Everybody who's elected, every elected official in the city of Revere who represents the, the city of Revere has been in favor of this casino. And that says something. Those are, those are the people who have been born and brought up in this community, have uh, represent the, wor the people of this community, and they're as supportive of this endeavor as the workers at Suffolk Downs. Now, we wanted to touch on racing before we went well, I, I, That's what I was going to ask you in your next question. And we have, you still have about five minutes. OK. Uh, as far as racing is concerned, in the initial, on the initial vote of Suffolk Downs, the one that was uh, voted down by East Boston, there was a guarantee of racing because Suffolk Downs was the licensee and not the landlord. And the legislation says that if a uh, racetrack receives a, a casino license, they must continue racing, live racing, for the duration. The reason why that guarantee has, is no longer in effect is because the people of East Boston voted no. Suffolk Downs has made every commitment they can, both privately and publicly, and now with a letter to the Gaming Commission saying that they are committed to racing for a minimum of 15 years, which is really 17 years, years right. because it's when the casino starts, opens, opens its doors, right. opens its doors. So Suffolk Downs is committed to racing. It's Chip Tuttle, Bill Malroe, Mohegan Sun, they, Mohegan Sun can't make that commitment because they're the licensee. But it has come from Suffolk Downs, and Mohegan Sun does, does not object to it. And as a separate entity, Suffolk Downs will continue to race as long as they have a lucrative tenant as, as, uh, on that property. And we expect that casino to be that lucrative tenant. Right. So I, I, I'm really grateful to um, Suffolk Downs for their commitment to, to live racing, because I represent the workers at Suffolk Downs, and those people uh, can, will continue to be employed if a casino is built at Mohegan Sun. Louis, you put it so beautiful, they couldn't pick the better spokesman <laughs> than you. Even I got a good lesson from the casino. I would like to interject one thing, if I may, to the people in the city of Revere. We have uh, an email number out there, if I may put it on the air. It's called RVC at RevereTV.org. It's called, again, let me repeat that, RVC at RevereTV.org. If any of you have any questions, whether they be positive or negative, mail them in. The elderly seniors, like myself, who are computer dummies, like I am, you can write in your question and mail it to Revere TV, Suite 203, 385 Broadway, Revere, and put on their attention casino. That way we'll know it's for the casino. So all you who cannot come to the meetings, who cannot come to the show, you can still mail your question in. And by the way, His Honor, the Mayor Dan Rizzo, who I had the honor of speaking to, said he will answer every question that we get between now and the time he comes on. So that would be nice of him, Louie. Well, he's the guy with the answers. Uh, he's uh, Right. And also, I understand, if, correct me again if I'm wrong, which I've been a few times, that... Mohican Sun, if people cannot get to the polls to vote on February 25th, that they will give us a number to call that they can be given a ride to the polls. 
so when that number comes up and they let us know, would you let us know at Revere TV so they can put it right on the screen or I can let them know? Certainly. I, I, I think uh, my number might be on the screen and anybody could call me anytime with any questions about the casino or if they want to help in this campaign because this is a very crucial campaign, probably the most important vote the people of Revere have ever cast. And a yes vote is actually a vote for Revere and a no vote is a vote for Everett. And, uh, uh, right. and, and in this particular case, as a Revere resident, I hope the people out there vote for us. Before we go up the air, I got a couple of, t uh, one more question if I may ask you. You're going to have people coming in here that are not going to be residents of Revere, but they're going to act like they're residents of Revere and speak against it. What do you say to those? Well, I, everyone has a right to their opinion. And Agreed. we respect, and we respect their That's opinion. That I agree on. But the opinion of the people of Revere is the opinion that should carry the most weight. Since we're the people who are going to live with this casino, it's the mitigation package that we're going to vote for that was negotiated by our, our representatives. Now, there are going to be people that are coming in here for a whole host of reasons. Some <coughs> people have a, have a, uh, have a moral uh, aversion to casinos. But there's going to be other people who have a, who have a, who have a, uh, uh, a vested interest in seeing us lose this election because they have investments in Everett. The, the, that, should, that motivation should be, should, should be weighed by the voter. This is a vote for Revere. A casino in Revere brings revenue, jobs, infrastructure improvements, and, and, and better services to right, us. Right, Louie, and I'd like to say one more thing. For the people out there who cannot come and vote at the polls, you can get an absentee ballot, and you can get that at the Revere Election Committee at Revere City Hall. But also, I understand the Revere Senior Center at 25 Winthrop Avenue will help you get an application. So if you can't come out and vote, get an application ballot, fill it out, mail it, and you can vote absentee because every vote, Louis, every vote counts. One last thing. I better, uh, I better say hi to my lovely wife, Corazon, who... Uh, when she turns this on, I wanted to make sure I mentioned her. She's been, a, uh, she's been such a supportive uh, person to me. We've been married for 12 years, and, her, and the support that she has given me during this whole effort has, been, has enabled me to do the work that I do. And I, I always want to thank my lovely wife, Corazon. Right, and I want to thank you for coming on the show, Louie. God bless you for what you do, really. You do a wonderful job of stuff like now. God bless the people of Revere, and especially those that are going to come out and vote. God bless our troops and our great country, the United States of America. And thank you for listening, and I hope we have another great guest, as Louis Cialone, Louis Cialone, coming on here. So again, Louis, thank you. Oh, thank you very much for having me, Morris. It was a pleasure.